Summer is complete, fall is here, and I don't have the window selected. There we go. <laughs> so summer was loaded with storms. I think this fall is going to be relatively dry. I blame El Nino. Or Star Nino. Robin's at work. Knocking a fence. I've played enough video games to know if you hit things with a hammer long enough, they will either be fixed or broken or drastically improved or broken down for parts. So basically we have no idea what's going to happen. That's right. You should be able to hire her to just do something else. To just demolish things. Demolition can happen, but it's not something that's done with any sort of time lag. Now you just go to her and say, get rid of this, and it's gone. What is that to the right of your barn? Uh, what do you mean? Like, are is you... That just... There's like four little boxes and then the cheese. What are those four boxes? Is that just part of the standard look of it? Oh, that. Yeah, that's just what the barn model looks like. No, oh, I have. don't think I've ever seen that rightmost column. Just kind of a waste of space. It's probably behind a tree or something on my file, so I just have never witnessed it. You don't have any, like, texture packs or anything installed, do you? This is all just vanilla? This is all vanilla, yeah. Go away. There we go. Ooh, bring it to, uh, Sam. I probably will. <laughs> you don't say. At least no one caught you that time. Hey, look, it's Sam. <laughs> Guess what I found? To me, Pritcher. Now, does that imply that somebody threw out a full can of soda? Or does he just like collecting the empties? Well, it would have to be full. So. You don't know that. They don't have any teeth left to rot. Maybe he chews on the cans. Maybe he's secretly a goat. Well, I mean with that hair. Could be hiding horns. Feels like fall has a greater selection of crops than even summer. So if you're hurting for money, fall's got you covered. I'm guessing that explains why corn seeds are so expensive, because they grow in both seasons. You need those for the community center, though, right? You're going to need Gold Star ones? Yeah, I don't believe I've gotten that yet. So stock it up on everything. Even though I'm doing pretty well at the start of a season, I always use as much money as I have on seeds. Get a strong start. That's a pretty smart method. He sells fish? I guess so. I've never seen that before. Not at Pierre's. Kind of sad. You probably don't have to harvest cranberries in the traditional way. <laughs> Just flood my whole farm. Yes. I was grinding the sick line and I just lost control of myself. Just like how I wonder if it wasn't Dune back in the 80s when skateboarding started. B were you hiding in a bush? Yes. <laughs> yes, I was. Or were you filming Sam's sweet promo video? You were trying to see whether or not he's actually a goat. He couldn't be seen. <laughs> Don't blame Sam. You haven't made a skate park especially for him. There is a jungle gym, though. I feel like that might be a more appropriate place to skateboard. Depends on how high he can jump. I 
just get some skate nonsense, physics glitches, shoot himself into the sky. Those are the best. I feel like the biggest problem with Concerned Ape's writing is the options he gives me are never the correct options. It's just, I have to pick a side or just leave. But like, the correct option is always, I don't give a shit. You could throw some of it off on Maru. I assume you trained her as a nurse. Let's see, I can finally put some cheese in here. Just missing one more thing, and I think it's gonna be honey, because I do have the beehive set up. Just waiting for him to do something. And I'm gonna assume it was a money achievement that I got overnight. Or maybe it was expanding my house. While you were sleeping, your house doubled in size. Does that mean that Robin came in and, like, moved your furniture around while you were passed out? And you slept through it? Guess so. But now that I have the first expansion for the house, I can finally cook. I need to actually get recipes first. And ingredients, but some of them I have right now. I think at least one of the recipes I have immediately I need for the community center. You need to cook two foods. One's just a fried egg, which is a basic recipe you get when you buy the kitchen. You will always have it when you get the kitchen. And another is a mako roll, which you need to get from either... I think you can get it from the bar, but you will definitely get it from the Queen of Sauce. Sashimi is also a really good moneymaker. So we talked about it before. A lot of things count as fish. Including pretty much everything you get from the crab pot. Who wants some wet newspaper sashimi? <laughs> I was gonna say eyeglass sashimi, but I think <laughs> newspaper's even better. Newspapers and apples. It's actually tomorrow's newspaper, which is the most disturbing part. Newspaper from the future. This ink gives you life. Cool. <laughs> I think the hazelnut was the only thing I didn't have in that bundle because everything else I'd gotten before the fall. But you get the mushrooms from the forest. I got the plum from my bats. And the grapes you already find in the summer. Or is it the blackberries? It's one of them. There's a handful of things like that that make it really difficult to try and do the year one community center completion. There's a couple things where even if you're checking the traveling cart every time it shows up, you're just not going to find everything. Or it can be your playthrough and you find it on the fourth day of spring. That works, too. We had a little discussion previously of what was the most expensive flower, like what gave you the most expensive honey, and I believe it's those fairy flowers. Ah, uh, yes, I believe you are correct. And those cranberries are basically the same thing as the blueberries. Super broken in early builds of the game. They got nerfed a good bit. But you get so many of them, you'll still make a lot of money. Also, harvesting them makes you want popcorn. I'm going to guess it goes pop, pop, pop. It does. <laughs> One fish at a time to <laughs> afford your sugar. Pretty much. Sugar, flour, rice... And oil. Oil you can make when you build an oil maker. The rest of them you need to buy from Pierre. And they're used for a lot of cooking. 
I think you can make sugar. Oh, yeah. I think sugar and flour. But you need to make a mill. Yeah. And, like, that's a full building. You need to get Robin to build. Oil maker is just a little thing you make in the crafting menu. I mean, you could grow sugar cane, or I guess you could make beet sugar. You do make it from beets. Oh, well, that's extremely true to life. You can make sugar from beets. You can also make road salt. <laughs> kind of a yin and yang there. What goes in the oil maker, dare I ask? Uh, one, truffles, which we would need to upgrade our barn to level three and buy a pig before we can get truffles. Or sunflower seeds or corn. That just makes regular oil. Truffle oil is a special thing. Well, yeah, you sell it to hipsters for 20 bucks a bottle. You can make much more the truffle oil in this game. Oh, yes. Yeah, corn oil or sunflower oil is perfectly legit. Chanterelle. It looks like a table falling over. Yeah, it does. Or a really dilapidated ottoman. <laughs> it's a stool for people with really good balance. Well, nice thing, we're given a fridge, which does count as a chest, but everything in the fridge can immediately be used in the kitchen. So, a good place to store the flour, the sugar, and what have you. Can I craft out of storage is, like, number one question whenever there's a game like this. It's one situation where you can. The fridge cannot be upgraded, though. Yeah, which is annoying. And it's too small by about two chests <laughs> to keep everything stacked. In my first save of this game, I put like three chests around it for extra food. Nice job getting down to one dollar. <laughs> yeah. So we're not going to have a repeat of the other Harvest Moonish LPs where you had 50 fridges in your living room. Unfortunately, no. Just missing a truffle. Need to get that pig. No, you'll just end up storing your milk and cheese in a wooden box on the floor. <laughs> Are you not supposed to do that? Depends on how cheesy you like your cheese. And like your milk. milk. <laughs> Good point. Now, Amaranth, I don't know too much about... All I know is it's in this one ancient grain cereal we sometimes get that I like. I don't think I even knew what Amaranth was before this game. It's a grain. Is it actually purple? Because it's very purple in this game. It is, but I'm not sure that's the kind you eat. Then let's feed it to our goats anyway. And I got some wine. There's a reason I use salmon berry, because it's super cheap. Most of the amaranth species are weed, and commonly referred to as pigweed. <laughs> Delicious. Pork grass. Not checking out your new uh, bundle reward? I'm not sure which is my new bundle reward. Oh, wait, you have to do everything in the section. Never mind. Right. There was no little Junimo cutscene. My bad. Getting ahead of myself. That's all right. Found a couple of cool things. A wooden mallet. Sort of a heavy weapon. I don't think we found a club yet. You can find one of those underground as well. 
you can slam them against the ground and it causes enemies to fly back a bit, so it gives you some space. There's a long recharge time, though. And also found a type of ore that will just sort of give you a random gem. Now, you remember back in spring, there was salmonberry season, where pretty much every bush in the whole game had salmonberries. In fall, we get blackberry season, which is the same thing, except by this point, I'm able to get two berries in each bush. And also, they're worth a lot more than salmonberries as it is, so you're going to make a lot of money. And there we go. Did that Junimo just phase into a barrel? <laughs> you learned it from watching best. Speaking of barrel. I think I got the keg reward for putting something in the community center that I needed a keg to make. I was like, that was really not useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been nice to have them like a season ago. Now you have more kegs, so you can make more beer. And I am. And I will. What was a drum doing in that? I don't know. I was tired of being beaten. Nice. I think I've gotten a fire quartz before, but I put it in a bundle instead of giving it to the museum. Let's check out the bomb. Hello. Yeah. They're very nice. Unfortunately, by this point, I'm in the area where I get gold ore, not silver ore. So I need to keep working on my mining skill so that by the time I'm in the area where I'm getting gold ore, soul essence, and sun essence, whatever that is, I will have the ultimate bomb, which uses all three of those. So it's sort of like renewable resources for explosives. Now, look at this. Level 99. Got an hour, 20 minutes. Oh, no. Don't do it. But it's the worst layout level. Oh, no, and it's one of those slimes. The special slime. It's the little star hat. There it is, lead rod. Kind of like a better version of the wooden mallet, but still not a very good weapon, honestly. 130. And three gold. Just go for the center, man. I'm trying. You can't. I mean, you're stopping to beat up grass. Oh no, oh no, 10 minutes. Time to start pause gumming it. Good knew it. At least I got that purple mushroom that recovered a lot of my energy. Yeah. I don't think we talked about transmutation yet. With it, you're able to convert three copper bars into one iron, and then three iron bars into gold. There's no third transmutation, sadly. You're probably not going to need it. It's really only for emergencies. Yeah, the ability to just take the elevator down to the levels that has the ore that you want makes that not super useful. But I do like that it's an option, especially with a lot of these games where you'll always have copper, but you may end up running low on iron or gold. It's nice to have an option to upgrade when usually you don't. I think I used it a handful of times when I was trying to redo the layout of my farm at the beginning of a new season and I was like one bar short of the next sprinkler level. Oh boy. Forget that fish. So don't know if we've done this yet. 
But as the train's passing through the valley, if you come up and just walk along it and wait, supposedly something's supposed to fall off of the train. This has never happened for me, and it's not going to happen here. I don't know what causes it. The only interesting thing is sometimes there's, like, graffiti on the sides of the train. I've gotten coal to fall off the train. It was rather underwhelming, because it wasn't even a huge quantity either. But I can attest to the fact that it does happen sometimes. Last time I ran along a train, I just got knifed by a hobo. Hey, Linus is nice. Hmm. The classics really means nothing. I think that's another dialogue option that does come back later. Not positive about that one. I can't think of how it would. Man, Elliot, I do not see you very often. She must just stands here looking morose. Yeah, remember your birthday. I didn't remember to get you anything good. Got you some fruit that I picked six weeks ago. <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to wriggle. Well, I can get into his house, but I need him to be in here before I can see his cutscenes. And since I forget that, it's going to be a little while before we see any of them. And by that point, his friendship will be so high that we're going to get like three in a row. Just getting there. Buy a round of beer for everyone. By everyone, I just mean the local trunks. <laughs> yeah, stand in front of him and drink it. Potential husband is at two now, three. Local drunk I'm feeding, six. I am a humanitarian. Not gifting, feeding. <laughs> yes. Where do you have your tapper set up? I see one in the upper left there. Do you have more anywhere else, or is that pretty much your one? Oh, I guess there's another one to the left there. Yeah, there's one over there. They're kind of scattered. I didn't plan out where to put them. Let's finally make some actual beer. Yay. Wheat on its own makes beer. Hops specifically makes pale ale. Ooh. Here's something rare that only turns up during the fall. I'm not sure what causes it. It's a, a completely random event. And apparently just by having this here, there's a greater chance of it turning up elsewhere as well. But during the fall, you can get a mushroom tree. Now, like the regular trees, you can tap it, and it will produce mushrooms for you. Found a mushroom biome. Yeah. Maybe you can find some mushrooms now. <laughs> that random occurrence is one of the reasons that I've heard people say that the bat farm, the fruit bats are better for the cave because you can have a on-site source of mushrooms if you can get that to happen. Yeah. I think it's a very low random chance from any seed that's sprouting. Uh-huh. One thing I'm sure of is when you tap it during the fall, you're most likely going to get a red mushroom. Maybe sometimes you'll get a purple. During the winter, the head actually falls off, and you can't get anything out of it. Sometimes you might get an extra mushroom, but during the spring and summer, I think usually you get common mushrooms.
Here we go. And I don't think it produces anything in the winter, even though the other cappers will. Yeah, it just straight up decapitates itself. Ooh, pomegranate. Gold star, too. <laughs> it's actually a little unfortunate that it's a gold star, though. Because that means any later pomegranates I get, I can't stack them. Ah. Now this is a weird, <laughs> a weird event. We just randomly walk into Pierre's room and find his porn stash. Oh, I was thinking it was his Mary Juana. Could be. Is a happy amaranth, if you will. <laughs> See, this is another case. I'm given two options. The correct third option is I don't care. I think that option hurts my friendship with him. I mean, he's right. Yes, because now that I've found it, I'm going to come back and access it. Oh, a new, a new notice on the bulletin board. Here's where Pierre keeps his stash. It's actually a stash. It's a fake mustache. <laughs> he puts it on at night when no one's looking. It makes him feel grown up. I don't think being married with children would take care of that, but okay. <laughs> wow, Sebastian. Hanging out with your best friend. I really don't want to be here. No more sugary drinks for Sam this week. This week. Now yeah, we're finally friends with Linus. Linus was my first friend, because he's really easy to befriend. You give him any junk food that you find, and he's like, this is the best. Feels like by the time you're able to access his very favorite items, he's already at 10. Sorry about knifing you all those times. I just really hate the sound of the train. And also, I like knifing people. That's why I live out here. Hey, who put your fire back on? You turned that off like six months ago. <laughs> this is where the cutscene gets weird. Oh no, I'm not falling for this again. The wind picks up. <laughs> No, I was just making a new type of fish bait. You need anything, Linus. <laughs> Hang on, I need to show the camera. So the fish bait uses fiber. I think the meat that we get from bugs and what have you anyway. And slime. So... Just expensive enough for me to not make it ever. Yeah, if I need to clear out a chest that has those ingredients in it, I will craft it, but otherwise, no. <laughs> Got a good haul when we get to level 9, though. Seed maker! Putting that to use immediately. Assuming I make it. There. Who? Four-digit ancient fruit wine. That's the money maker right there. I remember you had, your entire basement was just full of wine casks. <laughs> yup. Spirits are annoyed. Oh yeah, I'll make it worse. No, I'm not gnawing on a microwave convenience burrito at 6 a.m. <laughs> Well, that's why she's asking. She's taking consensus. Uh, 
I need corn. Hey, look, corn. Aha. Uh -huh. You mean raw tortillas. Raw tortillas in the making. Tortillas are just masa, which is effectively corn flour and water. Thank you, Linus. I could have used that three days ago. It's funny sometimes when people give me gifts, which I immediately sell, and I just think, it would have been easier if you just gave me money. I mean, you just described every child's Christmas. <laughs> I think my favorite gift is from one of the characters we haven't met yet, who will periodically just send you a bomb that they say that they found <laughs> in their basement. <laughs> I think I know who you're talking about. Is it Ivan the Mad? <laughs> May as well be. Mushroom! Poisonous mushroom. There's nothing really good to do with those other than make some of the cooking things that require additional mushrooms. Pretty much. Another thing you make, shove honey in there and make mead. Oh, uh, yeah. Naturally, the alcoholics all like that. But Willie in particular, that's one of his favorite items. So it's a good gift for him. How do you actually make mead? Because I don't think honey will ferment on its own. You'd probably use yeast. I mean, honey lasts literally forever. One interesting thing with honey in this game is that if you are using special flowers in order to get higher quality honey, don't bother turning that into mead because all mead has the same value and it actually decreases in value from something like the fairy seed honey. That's true, yeah. Oh, okay. You just add water. <laughs> Until it's not viscous enough. Next homebrew project? That's That might be a little ways down the line. That is not easy. No, I'm not a smell like me. I'm making it myself. Here's how you do it. Let's add some... Combined all this honey and this water, and then I got impatient. So I went down to the bar. <laughs> so yes. Oh no, Angry Pam is terrifying. Also a bit of a jerk. Not too different from Sober Pam. We cleaned up everything except for that blob of slime on the couch. I'm not touching that. I don't want to stick around and watch you beat your daughter, so, uh... So, one thing I've always wondered from Pam's portrait, does she have a ton of purple eyeshadow, or does she just always have two black eyes? <laughs> Either or, frankly. Yeah, see, look at that. That's just wrong. Oh, look, they're itty bitty television. Solarian Chronicles, I think that's the name of the board game in Sebastian's room. And it really goes downhill after book 17. It's a good track record, then. Don't you? Oh, we know the bus is still broken down. No, you don't. 
Because, of course, the local drunk is the bus driver. I don't know where that came from. Or so I read on the label. <laughs> Congratulations on your homemade blue moon. I don't believe this is a new type of fish, but it is one that is very common in fall. Yep, the salmon. And it ate my tackle. You catch salmon everywhere in town. And in the river. Aha! Last river fish, I think. That is a weird hybrid animal. Why does someone combine a tiger and a trout? I have nothing against GMOs, but that seems like it's going a little far. I think I'm gonna sell this mead. Later mead I'll give to Willy. Have you actually shipped a stick and a rock yet? Because that took me way longer than I care to admit. I think that was like one of the first things I shipped. Because you do also need to ship those for the list. But falls off to a good start. We're going to have plenty of money by the end of it, too. Which is good, because in winter you can't do a whole lot. Look forward to next episode when we get shut down for not having a liquor license. Bum bum bum. <laughs> <laughs>